Welcome to a quick talk about Keda, Gateway API, uh, and how these two technologies can interact together. My name is Jan Wozniak, and I work at Kedify. Uh, by the show of hands, how many of you know what is Gateway API? All right. How many of you use it in production? Not that many. Uh, here, <laughs> one hand up. Uh, so I'll do a helicopter 50,000 feet overview of the Gateway API. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's very, very similar to the Ingress controller. Uh, you have a Gateway controller. It's called a little bit differently. Then you don't configure just Ingress. You also configure Gateway and a route. Now, technically, there's more than a single route. There's HTTP route, gRPC route, and other types of routes. Uh, but it's the same thing. Route and Ingress, very similar features. Uh, the external network flows through the Gateway and then internally in your cluster is routed by the route. The gateway controller reads both of these resources and reconciles on top of them to properly configure uh, your traffic. Oh yeah, and that's what I just said. Um, Keda, that's the te second technology. Uh, how many of you know Keda? All right, one hand, nice, uh, two hands. Cool. Uh, Kubernetes event-driven autoscaler. Uh, it's a technology that you can use to autoscale your workloads, your applications on your Kubernetes cluster. Again, very similar 50,000 feet helicopter overview for uh, about Keda. So you deploy Keda on your Kubernetes cluster, you deploy your application, and what Keda does is it can scale your application, it can also scale it down to zero, at which point there's a helpful HTTP add-on that can cache your requests, meanwhile, uh, while your ap application is scaled to zero, and also it can scale it back to one. Uh, how does Keda do it? With the help of thousands of other technologies, uh, there's actually 65 only uh, supported scalers. Uh, this is some example of them. These are the logos that I personally like and enjoy, um, but there's more. And Keda uses metrics and data exposed by these endpoints, by these scalers, think interactions, uh, integrations with other third-party software to scale up and down your application. Uh, so we are going to go through a quick example of how Keda can work with HTTP-based autoscaling, so based on your HTTP um, traffic. You have your gateway API. In that gateway API, you have a route, which points to your application. In the middle, you will deploy Keda with the help of HTTP add-on and Interceptor, where you reroute the traffic first to the Interceptor, then from the Interceptor back to your application. And Interceptor exposes additional metrics, and with help of Keda, again, can scale up or down your application, replay the requests, and cache them. Now, there is also a second part of this presentation, which is a quick demo. Uh, you can scan any of these QR codes that I'll later show again. And here it is. So I have a Kubernetes cluster. I am going to deploy two applications. One is called Blue Application, and the other one, and a service for that Blue Application, and the other one is called Purple. You can see the pods. Uh, starting to run and starting to expose the traffic. It's a very, very trivial application uh, that we'll expose through the HTTP route. And this HTTP route configures to send half of the traffic to blue and half to purple. And we are watching uh, the applications. Now let's take a look at the output, what it gives us. So when you hit the endpoint, this is, this is the entire payload. It's very trivial. It responds with name of the version of the application, so either blue or purple, and its IP address. And it load balances 50-50. Now, when we start using Keda in conjunction to uh, the Gateway API, so we'll start autoscaling the application. It will autoscale from zero to 10 replicas, and the rest of it is a configuration, how quickly it will autoscale. We can start seeing that as soon as I autoscale the blue application, the deployment is getting scaled to zero, 
and we see a metric that there's zero requests per second going to that version. We'll do the same for purple. And we'll just make the auto-scaling a little bit more aggressive just for the purposes of demo. Don't do this in production. And we will rewire the, our HTTP route through the KEDA and the interceptor. So we can start scaling. Now, there's a lot more text that you can read at the comfort of your home to learn a little bit more about the internals of how things happen. And I will start a quick uh, script that is going to generate some load. It creates a batches of 10 requests uh, per, I think, every second. The red one, uh, this means that uh, there was a cold start involved. Other than that, the requests are pretty fast and responding pretty fast. Here are some metrics, and I'm actually going to get it running in a loop. And we can see that there's the requests are flowing uh, to our applications through Gateway API. And the metrics are starting to raise. The, the calculation for requests per second is done in a one minute windows. So it will continue to grow. And Keda is starting to scale because it recognizes, oh, your application is getting busy and getting more traffic. Let's scale it up uh, to more than a single replica. And additional cool thing that we can do with Gateway API is we can actually edit the amount of traffic that is flowing through uh, to our versions. So I can take a look at the HTTP route. Here we have configured it to send 50% of the traffic to blue, 50 to purple. If I make this 9 to 1, that's 90% of the traffic going one way, 10% of the traffic going the other. Keda will oh, Gateway API will recognize it. Gateway API will start routing more, most of the traffic to the purple one, uh, only 10% to the blue one, and the metrics will start to reflect that. As soon as metric, metrics reflect that um, more accurately, as soon as the time window is <laughs> getting smaller and smaller, the blue applications are getting scaled down and the purple applications are getting scaled up. All right, that was a speed run. Uh, thank you very much for the help with uh, setting uh, XRender. Uh, that was something. <laughs> All right, any questions? All right, if you're interested to check out the Killer Coda, learn more about Gateway API and Keda, feel free to scan one of these QR codes. Thank you.